So, I am feeling a bit better now, which is nice, but having a fire drill in the morning really doesn't help when you're trying to recover um, from your illness, but I'm feeling okay now. Gonna get some more battles with this hard setup um, battle spot double team, I would say. I would call it a hard setup one, so. I did say that I was gonna reset my rating and, and climb loads while I was ill, but then ended up doing a few games with a rain team and then had an idea for um, my team for London, so I thought that that was probably the priority. If I if, Usually if I have a bit of inspiration, I have to roll with it, else the idea might disappear, so. I spent most of the day fearing my London team, so. Hopefully, hopefully that's coming together. I, I feel like it is. I think I've, I've, I feel like I've got five out of six Pokemon done now. I just need to find the correct six slot, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's focus on Battle Spot Doubles right now, so. Don't think our record is too great with this team. I think I'm either neutral or positive. I don't think I'm negative with the team, but I can't remember. But not doing too well. I think I like win one and lose one in an episode each time. Because um, this was what like pretty much the first team that I just threw together, just the ideas. Because I liked having the, the assignments back. I liked having Azumarill back, um, Volcarona, and I liked my Smeagol in 2017. So. Thought the Bulu would make sense for the core because then you could spore things, but here we go. I find a fourteen hundred sky. That's 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 interesting. Like I I never understood myself to run into and Charizard. But I get that you have like two options to control the weather, but they seem to cancel each other out. Like you you stop your Charizard from being able to solar beam, or you um, get rid of the special defense boost from your Tyranitar. Like. Um, in the final round of 2015, um, I, I faced a Charizard and Tyranitar with a Roserade and Thunderous, and they Mega Evolved the Charizard, got rid of the Special Defense boost. My Scarf Leaf Storm was able to Oko the, the Tyranitar, and my Life Orb Thunderbolt was able to Oko the, the Charizard, and it was best of one as well. So, like, I, I never understood having them both together, but it's probably going to be a Sand Force, um, not Sand Force, Sand Veil, um, Garter. It could be a Sand Force Gastrodon, to be fair. But I would expect Storm Drain. Um, could be a Mega Garchomp as well. There's three, no, there's four potential Megas there, but um, I should get on and choose my Pokemon. So I think I will leave with Smeagol. Don't want to go Azumarill because of the um, because of the Gastrodon. So I think I will be going with Zerkatry. Salamence and Bulu here, I think. I think I need Bulu mainly for Gastrodon. Um, Volcarona could have been okay, but there were three Pokemon that can know um, Rock Slide. Well, actually, four, I think. Charizard can learn Rock Slide. doesn't really use Rock Slide, but unless it's Charizard X and wants to KO other Charizards, but I think a Flare Bits in the Sun KOs Charizard Y. Uh, this is a standard 2017 lead, isn't it? Here we go, Charizard Tyranitar, exactly what I was talking about. So, unfortunately I don't get to find out whether he's scarfed or not, because the weather abilities don't activate immediately. Um, but this is okay. Um, depends how fast his Charizard is. And not knowing that is a bit awkward, but... I could wide guard and Thunderbolt Charizard. I feel like that is the safest way, but every time I white guard, people tend to go for single target moves, which is annoying. So I could spore the Tyranitar. Like, if it's not a Scarf Tyranitar, then that is a spore into it. Um, so I think I will spore the Tyranitar here, and I will just... I won't Tail Glow, because I actually want to find out if Thunderbolt KOs Charizard. And it's a regular Charizard. Okay, nice. Well, that works. <laughs> I don't get to find out if Thunderbolt KO is a, a normal Charizard way. I don't think it would, because Secretary's a little bit weak um, without its boost. So it can't, like, Oko a Celesteela unless it's boosted at least a little bit. But White Guard wouldn't have been the play. Thunderbolt and Spore was definitely the correct play, it seems. So that's a nice turn one. I do lose my Sash because he didn't Mega Evolve, but maybe I wouldn't have KO'd him if he Mega Evolved his Charizard. But... Special attack doesn't matter, and accuracy drop, yep, there we go, nice, nice. Um, so you should probably bring in Garchomp here if he has it. 
Yep, there we go. Who's it going to be to make a Gotham? Because he didn't Mega Revolve his Charizard and he didn't Mega Revolve his Tyranitar. Um, could be Tectonic Rage as well. But I think I think here the safest play is to White Guard and I don't have Dazzling Gleam because this is supposed to be good against Landorus because that's more common than um, Garchomp's but I will just hit Power Ice there. Trying to, I'll leave that for Bulu to Woodhammer. Okay, that's fine. And Gastrodon, okay. That works. Is it going to be a Mega Garchomp? It's an air bar. Maybe he's going to Earthquake himself. That would be ideal if he Earthquakes himself. Okay, I'm just faster anyway. So maybe he's going to be bulky enough to live, but I'm at plus one, so I would doubt it. So this is this is going pretty smoothly. Because now I can um, spoil the Gastrodon and um, a plus two. I don't think I would KO the Trinita, but I would do a lot. And I don't think I need to get... Um, I think, well, my Boodoo does just win at this point, so it doesn't actually matter. Um, so maybe I will go for a Tail Glow and just speed things up. Actually, no, no. A quicker way would be to um, double Thunderbolt the Tyranitar. Because Boodoo would just win against the Gastron. So it wouldn't matter if he Earth Powers, because he can Earth Power with his Gastrodon in Battle Spot Doubles. But um, I don't think I got a speed boost. Yeah, I didn't, so I can um, Thunderbolt and Instruct um, this Tyranitar. Um, it would be a HP Ice or and Thunderbolt otherwise, but like, I wouldn't expect this to KO because um, of the special defense boost, but now this will. Um, so I have pretty much sealed up the game because I do have the Bulu in the back, but... Nice, nice. So I didn't want to mess around with the accuracy drop on Spore as well, and then if Thunderbolt doesn't KO the Tyranitar, he wakes up Earth Powers my Zekatry and Rock Slide KOs my... Um, Oh, it's Earthquake. Okay, fair enough. This might not even KO. I think this guy's doesn't have the grace to attack that unless you curse. But, that's not bad. I'm going go for a double HP Ice now. Um, curious if that would KO, because it's plus three HP Ice. Um, let's say I get an accuracy drop. Because I could still go for Spore, but, I, but yeah, my accuracy is lower, so it's better to just um, double HP Ice. So I might KO and speed things up, but I can bring in my Bulu whenever I want, and I would win, so. I'm not sure if this would KO, but we'll see. Oh, it, it, it easily does. That is more than I expected, but that's fine. So pretty much clean sweep with um, Zerkstri and, and Smeagol. Interesting he didn't Mega Revolve his Charizard. Um, don't know which Mega it was, maybe it was Mega, Mega Aerodactyl, but yeah, curious not, me um, not Mega Revolving. I would like to know if Circuitry can KO Charizard just regularly, like I could I could very easily just look up on the damage calculator, but where's the fun in that? I prefer to learn these things in action, because um, you don't get to look at the calculator in a live tournament, so um, I, I just prefer learning this way, although it depends because people... Um, you do need more than just one uh, uh, one opportunity to learn because maybe someone's got extreme bulk in their Pokemon or they've got less than regular bulk and you will never know but oh well don't get to find out maybe we'll find out in the future but I would assume that if my Zerkatry outspeeds a Charizard Y then they would be bulky enough to take a Thunderbolt but pretty clean, clean game in the first one he only got off one attack, which was Earthquakes, so I didn't even KO my um, Zerkatry, which shows you really do need to curse up with your Gastrodon if you're going physical. But that was that was that was pretty nice, pretty nice. I didn't want to belly drum successfully with my Azumarill at some point because every time I do, it fails, and every time I don't, it was the wrong decision. So <laughs> do need to learn when to belly drum. But there we go. That's a slightly higher um, higher rated guy. And, okay, so that's going to be a Mega Venusaur. It could be Mega, get Mega Gyarados, actually, um, but I would assume Mega Venusaur. Hmm, so I definitely want Salamence. Um, I can spore three of his Pokemon, even if the, uh, the Electric Taurine's up, because they're off the ground. So I may not need Bulu here. I don't think I want Bulu. Um, I think I want Volcarona. I think I want Zerkatry. So I definitely want these three. Do I need to go with Smeagol, or can I afford to go Azumarill? Azumarill isn't too good here, I don't think. 
Um, and I don't think I have a boo, so I will go with Smeagol. I'll go with Smeagol's Echo Tree again. Now that's Elements and Volcarona in the back. Should I leave with Volcarona, actually? It's just I want to catch that Gyarados. That would be nice, but I'll, I'll see if I can catch the Gyarados. Maybe Volcarona would have been a, a better a better lead, but oh well. Yellow Eyes looks really strange. Like, that, that didn't seem right to me. So, no, look, look at that, the Yellow Eyes, that, that just seems, seems a little bit off to me. But can I catch a Gyarados? That would be ideal. Like, I'm not expecting to. No, I don't. Okay, so... Ball Corona would be okay, like I can spoil the Nido King. Uh, Nido King, if it's max speed or scarfed, will outspeed my um, Smeagol. But I will spoil the Nido King here. And I think I would be okay if if I lose my Zerka Tree, it's because the Nido King has Earth Powered it. And that means that it's gone to sleep, which would give me the switch into Salamence to be able to Dragon Dance up. So I think I will play a little bit unsafe here and Tail Blow. But I would be fine losing Zerka Tree. Yeah, I was going to be Mega Venusaur, so maybe no Gyarados. Uh, is he going to straight up Earth Power my Zerka Tree? Is he going to be faster? He is going to be Scarf um, with Nido King, so that's really nice because I can completely ignore that now. So, like, I'm fine losing Zerka Tree here. Because that's giving me the information, he is Scarfed, he now can't, like, unless he switches out, and that would mean he doesn't burn a turn of sleep immediately, I get a free switch into Salamence here, so I do get my Dragon Dance, which is really nice. Um, if he poisons me, that wouldn't be the end of the world, because I get this double switch into Volcarona, like, even if I lose both my Pokemon, it would be fine, but, um, this way I do get a free Dragon Dance, which is really nice. So, we'll go into Salamence. I think here I'm going to double Dragon Dance. I didn't pay attention to my boost, so I will just see if I got speed. Um, I didn't, so I think I will go for a double Dragon Dance here. Because the Neo King is locked into Earth Power because um, Zerkatry would have outsped it um, otherwise. So a double Dragon Dance here uh, would mean that I can even KO his Coco. So he does stay in, that's fine. Like I'm, I'm going to ignore that Neo King now. Or just forever return that slot until it switches out. Well, the Venusaur's not more like, but... Perfect. Perfect. Couldn't have gone better right there. Because so I do know that he, he is guaranteed to have a sleep turn. He's locked into Earth Power. I do get a double Dragon Dance here, so that's really, really good. So that's one of the things I've been waiting for, because... I've been using an in, in, in Instruct Smeal quite a lot, and doing double Tail Glows has been fun, um, but... I've waited to do double dragon lances with Salamence, that is so good. So now I'm just going to go for a double return. So, yeah, I don't get a speed boost, so it's going to be a double return. Even if I got a speed boost, um, it would have been a double return, but um, I wouldn't care if my Smiggle gets knocked out here. I'm going to go for Instruct, and I'm going to go for a return um, into the Venusaur. And that would clear the field, so this is a nice position. So, Venusaur's gone. And then, if the Neo King doesn't wake up, that's also gone. And it stays asleep. So, to clear the field with a double return, that's really, really nice. That's one of the things I've been waiting for. Because I love, I love Instruct Smeagol. It's, it's really, really good with setup. So now, my Salamence is just gonna, <laughs> it's in a prime position to sweep through. I'm pretty sure a plus two return KOs a Coco. So, I should be safe to just follow me and return any of the slots now. So, <clears throat> really, really nice. Um, if it's Gyarados, then that could be a bit more awkward. Because um, I don't think uh, plus one would KO the Coco, but it's Flygon and and Coco. Okay, so I can pretty safely um, follow me and return into the Coco here, I think. Um, got Volcarona in the back, which would probably lose to both of these Pokemon, but... Yeah, follow me should be safe because a rock slide from Flygon would be pretty weak. 
So I'm going to follow me rather than um, double return. Again, I'm going to return into the Coco. Um, even if he rock slides, that's not going to be too bad. Um, it won't do too much to Salamence. It can't flinch me because he's too slow. Um, it's protecting the wrong Pokemon. So, again, like this is a nice learning point. I'm going to see if um, plus two return KOs Coco, which I would strongly expect it to. So, be strong, Salamence. Hmm, okay, it didn't. But. He is Z-moving into my follow me, so very nice, very nice. So now I'm pretty sure I have the game, because I can go for a safe return into the Flygon. Um, only a Sash could save him now. Um, Gearbot Havoc would have KO'd my Salamence, but I don't think a, a regular Thunderbolt can, so it should be pretty safe here. So follow me was the correct play, um, rather than going for Spore into the Flygon. Maybe it is a pretty bulky Coco, like, I'm, like that's close enough to look up the calc afterwards, so, like, here I wouldn't, like, assume that I can't KO any Cocos at plus two, because that was within the margin of error, within the standard deviation of, um, uh, whether I, um, whether, whether that's a bulky Coco or not, so, um, so I can return into the Flygon, but then if it's Sash, then that could go wrong. So I feel like I, d I should have a pretty safe path here. But, oh, like, a, a Sash Flygon could screw that up. So I think the safest thing will be to return into the... Um, maybe it is into the Coco. Am I too scared of Sash Flygon? Surely I'm not too scared of Sash Flygon. On Quiver Dance, and I will return into the Flygon, and it's not going to be Sash. Don't be Sash. That would be annoying. It is Sash. Ooh, here we go. That's going to mean that doesn't KO, but a Rock Slide probably will now. So, have I just thrown away the game? Ooh. Ah, oh, Clutch for Corona get my berry. So if I get the Quiver Dance, I do win. So it just depends whether I flinch or not. I do flinch. So it's not over. Hmm. Flinch could have saved him. So, like, returning into Coco was the better play. So now what do I do? Turn into Flygon should be safe. But then if he, um... Then he can protect his Flygon and... Um... I might double protect here to scout out a protect. I think that Because he's burned his Z-move. So I think that will be the safest. So that flinch was unfortunate. I, I, I thought I had the game pretty much locked up, but it seems not. So I was scared of Sash and for good reason. Okay, so now I do think I have the win, because I am, um, unless he gets the double protect with his Flygon, because I can I safely return into the Flygon now, and yeah, he would have to Thunderbolt to KO my Volcarona, or he would have to Dazzling Gleam to KO my Salamence, so neither of them would work, and I would be it. Should I go for a Quiver Dance? Would that be safer in case he gets a double protect? So I can go for Heat Wave in the worst case. Because um, he's not Scarf Coco. He's not Scarf Flygon. So Quiver Dance should technically be safer. In case he double protects with his Flygon and doesn't gleams. Because then if I go for Bug Buzz and Coco, yeah, Quiver Dance would be safer. I'm pretty sure. And I will go for Return into the Flygon. So please no double protect. Nice, okay, so the game should be locked up now, because Dazzling Gleam would KO Salamence, wouldn't KO Vol Volcarona, but if he Thunderbolts the Volcarona, then Salamence will win, so. I think, I think Quiver Dance was the correct play here, because now 
Because um, if he did get the double protect, because he went for Dazzling Gleam, if he did get the double protect with Flygon, I had the, um, the chance to double hit Heatwave. So, I think that was, like, that That was closer than I, I, I thought it would be. Um, Sash Flygon. Like, I, I did say that's the only way he, he could um, come out of it, but I thought that pro probably a protect on Coco was more likely than a Sash on, um, on Flygon, but, yeah. Sash Flygon made it a lot closer than it, it, it could have been. Like, he got the flinch with um, Rock Slide as well, so that made it a proper game. But he managed to scout out his protect. He did go for the double protect, which was the correct play in the end. Um, could have made a risky play and called that he had to go for the double protect to win so he could return to the Coco. Like, that is a fair enough play, and you need you need, you need need some uh, a lot of courage to make that play, but it sometimes could be the play. Because I've, I've lost to double protects in, in tournament games before where I like I knew they were going for double protect because they had to go for the double protect, and I still target into it accepting the two-thirds chance rather than the third chance that I could lose. Whereas I could have a 100% win if I call the double protect, but then, depends, people might have that logic of uh, you have to double protect so the opponent's going to attack into the non-double protector just in case, and then um, I had that on um, stream at Worlds, although actually he, he had Shadow Sneak, so it wasn't actually that logic, but it was it was similar, so like, it depends, like, do you risk double protects? Do you go with your opponent's logic of they have, like, I have to double protect, so I don't double protect, but... He, did, he didn't get the double protect here, and um, because he went for Dazzling Gleam rather than Thunderbolt into Volcarona, I think if he was going for double protect with Flygon, he, thun he should Thunderbolt into the uh, Volcarona, because then it turns it into the two on one. Um, but ended up working out, so. I think that's the first time this week that I got two wins with this team um, in an episode, so hopefully we can carry on with, the, um, with that in the final episode of this week tomorrow. So, thanks for watching.